For computer game players, this could rekindle memories of Super Mario. But in fact, it's a Ukrainian invention that could transform the world of fitness. This is new smart dumbbell technology. And it's not just a gadget for exercise. It also provides the motivation by issuing reminders to work out and by publishing details of your performance on Facebook and Twitter. We met Bogdan Sass. He's the co-founder of the company behind the product. He told us this is sports equipment which recognizes your movements you do and transfers the data onto a mobile app. Here is my profile. You can see the notifications which appeared, my performance and the awards which I received. We can see the exercises I should be doing, including all of these statistics, and it also tells you what you should be eating. His team have raised $40,000 to develop and promote their product to consumers in Ukraine and beyond. These guys are just some of a number of Ukrainian programmers, mathematicians and professionals with unique ideas, skills and dreams. They often gather at hackathons, a kind of forum for developers. It's at one of these meetings that led to this man entering the prestigious Forbes magazine European 30 Under 30 list. Ivan Pasichnuk builds software and hardware that reads the energy consumption of home appliances in real time. At the moment, the whole apartment is consuming 147 watts. Now we switch on the heater. Now see here how the energy consumption has increased. The system has detected that the heater is plugged in. We had this level before and the higher level now. Now we are turning the appliance off. And look, you can see the peak of energy use when the heater was switched on. From saving energy at home to saving employees' energy in the workplace. This Chinese-made robot can carry documents and even carry drinks to the boss. Plus provides some much-needed amusement to the employees. With the right sort of financial support and direction, it's these sorts of future technologies that could one day be labelled made in Ukraine.